It was to be a banner year for Ventura County crops. Orchards exploding after so much winter rain. Ranchers never saw the threat on the horizon. A pandemic at harvest time. Workers vulnerable. We couldn't uh, get anything done uh, without our workforce. Over an eight-day period, we harvested over 600,000 pounds of lemons. There are bread and butter for everybody. They put it on the table. And the numbers, according to the Ag Commissioner, as many as 43,000 workers in the county to pick and pack. Hola, buenos dias. Yeah, yeah. Mayoma, Dr. Khan. And their contact with health care, minimal. An alarm sounded for Dr. Tipu Khan and his team of backpack medics. And we said, hey, we've got to do something to take care of these patients because they are going to get hit, and if they get hit, they can get hit very hard. Instead of telling the workers, go see a doctor, doctors go to workers. Here, supplying information at a cabbage field. La vacuna que se, normalmente se pone uno para la, para el flu. No, a flu shot does not protect you from COVID-19. On an earlier visit at Chris Sayers Ranch, a worker reported suspicious symptoms. And they actually pulled out their kit uh, and uh, suited up with their gowns, gloves, and, and uh, face shields, and uh, were able to perform a test on him uh, right then and there. Uh, we had results back within 24 hours, and thankfully it was negative. Yet anxiety is high. One of the largest clusters of COVID cases in the state erupted at this Santa Paula packing plant. Calabo shut it down for deep cleaning when the first case was detected, but 34 others would later test positive. Sweeping safety measures now in place. And what about physical distancing? Well, here it's not an issue, but those workers can go back to cramped quarters and they have families. Dispelling myths, raising awareness. It is a race against the virus. This team is in a strategic position because it was already working before the pandemic. Their focus on people isolated in homeless camps. The team's mission is to help those in hidden communities and at the same time train young doctors how to hunt down the underserved and help them on site. We're trying to set them up for providing this kind of care of giving back to their community no matter where they go. I think the, the moral of this project, but also what we do here as a residency training program in a county facility is remembering that each and every person in society is uh, connected. By taking care of our most vulnerable, we're taking care of all of our society.